Creating the River Otter Beaver I am Jasmine Mills Lung and I am a taxidermist and I only work with animals that have died from natural causes. I was so intrigued when the beaver arrived at my studio because I've never worked with one before and their anatomy is wonderfully unusual because of their scaly tail and webbed feet. The first thing I do when working with a mammal is to take many measurements and reference casts. I do this by carefully taking moulds from the body and casting these in plaster. I use these reference casts when I come to the final stages of sculpting the taxidermy. The next stage is to remove and prepare the skin. The fur on a mammal sits within layers of the skin and the fur needs to be fixed in place through a process called pickling and tanning, otherwise over time the fur will fall out. The pickling process plumps up the skin, sets the hair in place and removes the proteins in the skin which are then replaced by the tanning chemicals which are absorbed in the plumped up skin to preserve it. Whilst the skin is being prepared, I make the sculpture for the skin to go onto, which is called a form. I do this using a traditional method called bind up, where wood wool, a soft wooden shaving, is tightly wrapped and bound around a wire frame to build up a muscular structure of the beaver. I use the measurements and the reference plaster casts I created before removing the skin, so that I can make my sculpture of her as accurate as possible. After I built the initial bind up with wood wool, I coated it in a paper pulp and plaster mix to create a firm top layer to make sure the structure was strong, especially because she would only be supported by three legs. Normally I clean and use the real skull of the mammal under the skin, but this was not an option because her skull was going to be preserved separately for the museum. So I created her head also in bind up form. Because I was not going to use the original skull, I had to use false teeth. I also needed to create fake claws. I did this by casting her individual claws in silicon and then creating my own in resin, attaching these to bind up toes. Once the form was complete and the skin was fully prepared, I started to sculpt the skin onto the body. I added her acrylic resin eyes and then I placed clay around her face, toes, ears and in the tail and started the long job of sculpting the skin into position and sewing her up. But where did this beaver come from? Wild beavers became extinct in England around 400 years ago, so in 2013 it was a great surprise when someone spotted them on the River Otter just 13 miles from the Royal Albert Memorial Museum. Their arrival caused quite a stir and divided opinions. They captured the hearts of the public who campaigned against the beaver's removal. The beavers became part of a five-year scientific trial by Devon Wildlife Trust to assess their impact on local geography, ecology and people. The results of the trial were overwhelmingly positive. On the morning of the 21st of April 2019, a young female beaver was trapped in Scotland at a conflict site on the River Tay. She travelled to Devon and was health screened at RSPCA West Hatch en route and was shown to be healthy. Devon Wildlife Trust released her onto the River Otter at dusk. She was introduced to increased genetic diversity within the beaver community on the river. She entered an unoccupied space between territories with plentiful undisturbed habitats near Dotton Bridge on the river's lower reaches. Following release, she slowly moved downstream. Sadly, a dead beaver was found near the estuary three days later on the 24th of April and was confirmed to be the released animal. There were no external signs of injury, suggesting that her cause of death was not due to conflicts with other beavers. Devon Wildlife Trust then offered her to the Royal Albert Memorial Museum. Only three beavers from the River Otter Trial are known to have died. Although there is much sadness that this beaver died, she will now go on as part of the museum's collection. She will be used to help visitors understand beaver's anatomy and life history and to share how important beavers are for biodiversity and protecting our landscapes. After grooming her hair into place, I waited for her to dry over the period of about one month. When the skin dries, the pigment from the areas of skin not covered in fur lose their colour and shrink. These areas need to be built back up using epoxy putty and then painted with a mixture of acrylic paints. These finishing touches bring the taxidermy to life. In August 2020, DEFRA ruled that families of beavers on the River Otter are permitted to remain there. This is a landmark decision and one of the most important moments in England's conservation history. This is the first ever reintroduction of an extinct native mammal to England, because beavers in England are soon to become a protected species. 
Her skeleton was prepared and articulated by John Knott to sit alongside the taxidermy at the museum. Preservation of this beaver was made possible with the support from Devon Wildlife Trust, the Friends of Ram and the Natural Sciences Collections Association. <laughs>